That was sick. Got Hunter's little ice rod right here. I don't know how this is gonna work with how fast this is going. I was not thinking about that. Yeah, you're not we'll just put we'll just put some weights on. I'm still keeping it on just in case. Alright. Oh boy. Yeah, give me that too. I just tossed it over, boy. Dude, I feel water in my feet. Come on. Dude, I think these things have a hole in them. Well, grab the fishing rod. You know what? You carry this. Where is it? You carry this. I'll carry the fishing rod. All right. Just saw him right in the Any danger? All right, guys. So we are currently in a part of the creek that is super like rushing oh, right now. The no, water is no, super no, high no, up. No. Um, oh, that sucks. Hunter's feet are coming off. We're in a super muddy area, and like, this is the only part of the creek we can fish because we can't cross because it's so high. And. uh yeah, we've been wanting to fish it since we saw it whenever we were we were either squirrel hunting or deer hunting and we saw it. Dude, it's, it's like really? the best part of the creek to fish around here. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna try and catch some bluegill or something on this little ice fishing rod we found in Hunter's garage. Well he just said we could use it, so I'm just gonna throw out a little piece of hot dog on a bobber and float it and see what I can get. And we also we got a little minnow trap, but I'll show that in a little bit. Yep. Keep the bass every time. And just watch the bass go. Where? Yeah, I can catch them right now. This one here. See, look, that's backwash. That's where you want to fish. Really? Because the current's less. I think. Hey, guys! This is Dominic Amarillo at Outsiders. See, I already got some. I already got a bite. Oh, this is sick. Hunter. You this, don't have a bite. Yes, I do, dude. Dude, He was in? pulling on it. Reel it in, then. My bail was completely open. Guys, I just already got a bite. How do you know you don't have it now? It could be a dumb thing. I think fish. he ripped my bait off. Oh shoot, that priority came off. <laughs> Almost 8K. It's like 7.8. How many is it? How many subscribers? 8 or 850? Alright, it's going in a little circle right now and then it's gonna like, you know, start bending over. Alright, alright. See, that's, that's actually a fish hunter. He, he probably ripped it off already. Well guys, that did not work. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll come back. Uh, for now we gotta get back to the camp and get things done, so. I'll try and get the minnow trap out tonight and see what happens. Hey guys, hey, hey. We're going back to the camp right now. Uh, we got two bites in total, which kind of sucks. And I even tried without a bobber. And I think the current's just ripping <laughs> too much right now. Yeah, let's just go camping. Yeah.
up, dudes? Silver's the cameraman here. Is it holding? What? This? Yeah. It's always holding. We are currently getting up to Eno, so we're going to sleep in tonight. Yeah, the usual stuff. We haven't been here yet this year. Oh. I'm just going to spend the night out tonight, so. <laughs> and I got a freaking rope above my head. Yeah, same. Yeah, we got ropes above our head. Is that good or bad? That's a good thing. Woo! What? Why did we never sit here before? I don't know. I think I can go up one more too. Probably. Alright guys, so you've seen on past videos, well, you may not have seen, I've got a lot of subscribers since then, but it was a long time ago, I used the apple juice bottle and made a minnow trap out of it, so, we, uh, we lost that one, I don't, I don't know where it went, so I'm gonna make a new one, with, all you need is paracord, a knife, and this, and sometimes you need super glue, but like, you can go without it, so, let me do that real quick, we caught crawdads and, uh, little minnows, so, all you gotta do, Cut the top off right at this line right here. All right, so we got this piece right now, and all I gotta do is take the cap off. Shoot. Take the cap off, set it here. Then all you gotta do is turn the thing around, and you got yourself a little minnow trap. So. Now all we gotta do is cut a hole in one of the sides and tie it together. And then put our bait back here and some rocks and way down and then we can put it in the creek over there. This has worked in the past pretty well, especially for how quick I just made it. And it's literally like zero bucks, so. Now all I'm gonna do is put it through that little hole right here. Right here. Tie it together. And then we'll have our minnow trap ready and like this took me five minutes to film and explain it all. Should take you guys like three. Well, actually, since you're learning, it might not, but. You don't even need to tie any weird knots. You just. You gotta keep doing overhand knot, or there's just a simple knot right here. Now my other one, I put super glue on it to hold it even tighter, but I don't have it out here, so this is the simplest way to do this, and I'm going to go try it. The uh, the creek is rushing right now, so I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to have to put a bunch of rocks in it, but anyways, you'll put the bait in back here. Uh, it'll fill up with water and all that, and the fish will swim right through up here, and they can't figure out how to get out, and then whenever you want to check it, you just do this and open it right up and you get a, get get uh, your minnows out and all your crawfish and put it right back in now guys I cut this really wrong well not wrong but I did it bad and there's a little crease right here that may let the fish get out but hopefully not um, and other ones it doesn't do this so you don't have to worry about that but you know it still should work for crawfish or anything. But actually, nothing from him. Here's a bait right here. Got the hot dogs and the salami sticks. Actually, they're sliders. Sliders? D does, d okay, does that piece of salami look like a stick to you or does it look like a little... Oh, my bad. Yeah. I was gonna crush this up right here. Yeah, you know, I don't even know if I'm gonna get any minnows because they eat like bread, I think. But if there's any crawfish in here. Man, your hands are gonna smell good. And 
We'll put a salami in there just to uh, top it off. That the salami sauce went up a stick. Okay. He having trouble there? Now my hands are really gonna smell good. Oh, there's a piece of that in right there. Oh, they're all greasy. All right. Where should we throw it? Whatever you want, big boy. Well, definitely want to go deep since this is like body mixed in there. Delman's been kind of bad lately. Here's the uh, the string rope thing, and then we got this. So I don't know if it's gonna work though, cause I should have cut like a bunch of this out. But I didn't, and now we have this gap right here. I don't know if it'll matter too much, but we'll see. You know, it could be one thing that the fishes aren't in here, or that, uh, or that it's uh, salami in here instead of uh, bread for the minnows. Me so and my camera's we may just catch uh, crayfish. What? My camera's <laughs> those little. <laughs> Alright, so now we're tying it to this tree and then we'll come check it tomorrow or tonight and uh, hopefully we got some. So, uh, we were just checking the minnow traps, and, uh, you know, I gave Hunter the honor. You guys can see it all on my Snapchat story, or my Instagram, or, you could have saw it on my Instagram story, but, we, uh, we pulled it up, and we only had one big thing. We heard, we heard it flopping around, and it's this giant thing. Um, here, let's get it out of there. He's gonna die. I had a revive for it. It sounded sick. Dude, that is a big fish for fitting in that tiny hole. But guys, this thing works here. For this little trap right here. And as you can tell, there's no hot dogs in here. No. Oh my god, no. Guys, this may have been what, uh, can you see it on the camera? Yeah. This may have been what has been, uh, eating our hot dogs, but, I don't know, it's probably some bluegill. Well, this is a bigger one than we caught last time. He's huge, no crawfish this time. It might be too cold for them, but. Uh, yeah, so we'll set this trap out again tonight and wake up in the morning once we're uh, done sleeping in the Enos and check it again. Um, I don't know. I don't know nothing about fishing. Shad, maybe? No, I ain't a shad. I don't know anything about fishing. We, we had him out of the water for a long time. I want to make sure he swims off. He's flapping his fins, Dom. I know, but... <laughs> and, uh... 
Let's go rebay that trap, guys. It worked and it's only like two bucks and it took two minutes. Okay, so everyone just woke up. Well, not everyone. Dylan's still asleep. You guys haven't even seen Dylan in this, but we got Hunter here. We're gonna go check the minute trap. It was freezing last night. I woke up like four times freezing. I had to go up in a ball again and uh, get back. But uh, anyway, we're gonna see what we got here. So you know, the, the trap, the fish, man, they would, they had a lot more time to get out. The trap wasn't as sturdy as the last one, so. Could be a bad thing. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. That was a bad minnow trap. I did not make that as good as my last one. So uh, this was camp day one of this year. Uh, probably make it like season two. And you know we didn't do much this time because it's just so cold and we got here so late. We didn't have much daylight. We just kind of we, we fished and stuff and made that minnow trap, but next time I don't know what we'll do We'll probably clean it up a lot and actually make a fire all the woods wet So I mean it would have been it would have taken forever to make a fire anyway, so uh, I'm gonna end it here. So see you guys in the next one probably be a fishing video or something peace I'll link my uh, survival playlist right here if you guys want to watch that of uh, the last last year's survival it's pretty cool, so you should go watch it.